Ta-Nehisi Coates, we were eight years in power, an American tragedy. Dive into the compelling world of, We Were Eight Years in Power, An American Tragedy, by ta Coates and explore the historic tenure of America's first black president, Barack Obama. Witness the rise of black voices during his presidency and confront the troubling persistence of racism in American society. Through this summary, you'll learn about the flawed perspectives of prominent figures, the relevance of slavery and Malcolm X's impact on African-American consciousness. Question the reparations for America's racist past, analyze the disturbing trends in incarceration rates, and finally, ponder the significance of Obama's personal background in his optimistic beliefs of a unified America. Bill Cosby's False Narrative Barack Obama's presidency gave a voice to black Americans, but Bill Cosby's preaching missed the point. Cosby's so-called pound cake speech blames black culture for racism, ignoring white supremacy and legitimate calls for justice reform. His rhetoric takes the focus off systemic problems and puts the burden on individual black Americans to fix them. Cosby's narrative is dangerous and misguided, and we must reject it to make real progress towards racial equality. Michelle Obama's Narrative Michelle Obama's narrative challenges conventional expectations of black oppression and slavery. Raised in a predominantly black community, her childhood was a happy and uneventful one that never amplified her racial identity. While studying African American studies at university, she surprised the author with her story of family and motherhood, and conflicted black identity. The author believes this narrative reflects the experiences of many African Americans who grapple with their identities as they move into predominantly white spaces. The Foundation of America After the election of Barack Obama, some intellectuals predicted the end of the Republican Party due to its association with white resentment. However, they failed to acknowledge the deep roots of white supremacy in American society. The author argues that slavery is the foundation upon which America rests, and it was the basis of white economic prosperity and social equality that allowed American democracy to take hold. The Civil War began when the first black codes, limiting rights for people of color, were passed in the 17th century. Nonetheless, the Civil War is misrepresented as a story of white people, eroding the central role that slavery played. This misrepresentation is due to the preference of a more comfortable narrative that sees slavery as an isolated incident rather than the institution that sparked the Civil War. Malcolm X and the Rebirth of Black Pride Malcolm X is a complex and enigmatic figure who played a critical role in shaping African American consciousness. Before his rise to prominence, black Americans were conditioned to despise themselves, with the word black being an insult. However, Malcolm X changed all that by encouraging black Americans to embrace their identity, their blackness. He planted the seeds of pride that continue to impact society today, evidenced by the current hip-hop movement and the renewal of black empowerment during Barack Obama's presidency. Malcolm's influence is profound, as his transformation from criminal to military ascetic still fascinates many. Though seemingly paradoxical, Malcolm X's legacy is one of the most significant contributions to black empowerment in modern history. His message of self-creation and the power of embracing one's identity remains relevant and powerful even today. Obama's Presidency and the Racist Backlash Barack Obama's election as the first black president of the United States instilled a new confidence in black Americans but also triggered a racist backlash, exposing the nation's persistent racial struggles. Obama's reluctance to talk about race sharply contrasted with the black radicals, and when he did speak about race, it resulted in a backlash of politics from the right, who used Trayvon Martin's death as racially charged political fodder. This article delves into the tension created by Obama's presidency and his impact on the country's approach to race relations. Reparations for American Slavery the article raises the idea of compensating black Americans for the consequences of American slavery. The author argues that American wealth was founded on black slavery, made worse by the legal theft of land from black families and exclusion from the New Deal. 
The result is a long-standing and institutionalized racial discrimination that needs to be addressed. Black incarceration in America America has the highest incarceration rates globally, with over 750 people out of every 100,000 in prison. Shockingly, mass black incarceration is racially charged, with black Americans locked up at a far higher rate than whites. The historical roots of black criminalization in America have contributed to higher policing rates in black neighborhoods, leading to higher arrest and incarceration rates. This issue affects black families and individuals, making it difficult for them to find employment and survive. Obama's Optimism versus Black Americans' Mistrust Barack Obama's unique upbringing in a white family shaped his perspective on race, allowing him to build connections between black and white communities as a leader. However, his optimism for a truly United States of America is not shared by many black Americans who harbor deep mistrust towards white America. Even with the election of a president who built his career on the racist myth that Obama is an American, the issue of racism remains complex and far from simple. Having ventured through the key points of, we were eight years in power, we've come to understand that the rise of black American voices, including Barack Obama's presidency, represented historical achievements in a nation plagued with racism. However, racial discrimination remains embedded in American society, thanks to the legacy of slavery and a long history of white supremacy. The influence of powerful black figures, such as Malcolm X and the Obamas, has undoubtedly left a mark on the collective consciousness, but the conversation surrounding racial justice and equality is far from over. Even with Obama's unwavering optimism for a unified America, the challenges in dismantling deep-rooted systemic racism remain immense and require unrelenting collective effort.